name is Donna Briggs and today is Wisdom Wednesday. I hope you had a spectacular week and you made every day a great day and you lived in prosperity, health, wealth, and abundance. So someone inboxed me and they said, what is Wisdom Wednesday? So Wisdom Wednesday is a combination of a different, lots of different things. Things that I've learned from reading uh, online, my grandmother, my grandfather, um, different people that I've used as role models or mentors in my life, um, things that I've read, books that I've read, my personal experiences. That is Wisdom Wednesday. A combination of a lot of different things makes up Wisdom Wednesday. So what I did learn, which took me a while to learn this, learn to love that's for everybody out there without calculations what does that mean without trying to calculate what you're going to get out of it negotiations and expectations i'm not saying settle for nothing but try to learn to learn to live like that or love like that it's a lot easier um what you go into the picture with or what you go into the relationship with is probably what you're going to get out of it so if you go in as a business deal or you go in as a certain way, that's what the relationship is probably going to end up being. So keep that in mind when you get in relationships. Um, oh, another thing I learned. The reflection you see in someone else is usually you. What does that mean? Um, sometimes the faults you see in other people is usually a mirror and that's something that you're doing. Now, I didn't realize that either. Let's see, what happened? Oh, so I was talking to somebody on the phone and they would cut me off. But then when I looked in the mirror, I was cutting people off. So I met someone that did the same thing that I would do and they did it back to me. So it's a mirror. Your reflection of who you're probably talking to on the phone, who you're hanging around in general. And if you want to change them, you have to change you. That's heavy, isn't it? I know. So if you want to change the other person, you have to change yourself. Because remember, the only person you can change is you. You're a reflection of yourself. When you change your environment, you change yourself. So when I stop cutting people off, I stopped getting people on the phone to cut me off. I mean, that's something small, but just look at the big picture. Um, if you like to get high, you'll probably attract people who like to get high. If you like to drink, you'll probably attract people who like to drink. Or if you like to, I don't know, ski, you'll attract people who like to ski. Or anything positive or negative, whatever you like to do, those are the people that you attract. If you lie, you attract liars. If you cheat, you attract cheaters. If you steal you attract stealers i don't know whatever it is you it's a mirror of something that you're doing or something you're giving out your energy that you're giving out that's why i said to you i don't know i try to say this to you all the time try to be your best self so you can attract what you want how long would it take me to learn that let's see mm, took a while because you don't want to believe that the people that you attract, somewhere along the line, you're just like them. You don't want to believe that. Especially if it's bad. Another thing that I learned, don't become upset when things don't go your way. Because maybe something bad was going to happen if you got your way. You got to think of it like that. In the positive mindset. Not, oh... I tried to get this position at this company or I, you know, and they didn't hire me or, you know, I really wanted this, I don't know, this house or I really wanted this condo or I really wanted these boots or shoes or I don't know. Whatever you wanted, it didn't work. And then you're saying to yourself, oh, why did it happen for me? Maybe it's preventing you from disaster later on. Maybe you getting that house, I don't know, a gas line could erupt in the house and it could blow up and you could have been dead anything could have happened that actually happened to a neighbor of mine they weren't home thank god but that's why it came to mind you're like where did she come up with that story anyway um a neighbor of mine 
really nice house. They were on vacation. The gas line disconnected and their house blew up. Thank God they weren't home. But that's just something that happened. But anyway, no one was hurt. But that is a true story. That kind of stuff happens. So whatever is not happening for you the way you want it to happen, maybe it's best that it didn't. Hmm. How you perceive yourself, I mean, your identity, how you think of yourself, people treat you based on that. What does that mean? If you don't think much of yourself, and you think, you know, no one likes me, uh, no one cares. You're projecting that out to people. So when they meet you, they're going to treat you like this. Like, Why do people treat me so bad? Because you think that way about yourself. Mm. So whatever you project out, positivity, um, excitement, grace, wonder, people treat you accordingly. If you project positivity, you'll get positivity. Always remember that. If you project negativity, you will get negativity. People will treat you a certain way based on what you're projecting. And people can tell what you're projecting. So you can't pretend because people can feel your energy. Back to energy again. Energy, tone, vibration. People can feel all that stuff. So you can say, oh, I feel great about myself. Ah, uh, But if your energy's off... People can tell that you really don't feel great about yourself. You can't fake energy. Anyway, you guys, I love you, love you, love you. I appreciate you. And happy Wisdom Wednesday. And remember, you will live in harmony, peace, clarity, truth, law, order, and abundance this week. And anyone listen to this video, they will live in abundance. They'll be healthy and they will be prosperous. I love you. I appreciate you. Follow me on all social media platforms. And remember, make every day a great day. Go to my website, makeeverydayagreatday.com. Sign in your email because I'm going to have a spectacular website and I want you to be part of it. Love you. Bye.